Eric B's daily vlogs. Usually people don't comment and will say, Eric, I'm gonna have to correct you on something. In the vlog that I just did over at Baker Beach, I said, this is the closest beach from the parking lot to the water. And someone said, nope, that isn't. I'm here at Chrissy Fields, Chris Fields parking lot to talk about Chrissy Field. This is the East Beach, but this is the closest distance from the parking lot to the water. So we'll talk about this more on the other side of the break. So let's get this started. <laughs> We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs, Chrissy Fields. Where I'm at right now. Chrissy Fields, this is the Chrissy Fields East Beach, and then there's a South Beach, literally just a stone's throw away. But I'm here because, again, somebody commented on my YouTube channel and said, hey, that is not the closest distance from the parking lot to the beach. There's another one. And I guess this is considered a beach where the waves not that high, got a bunch of kids playing. Told me to go check out Chrissy Fields Beach and go see this beach. It's a good beach, it's a good view. And right behind me right there, it's the Golia Bridge. Hairs in my face, don't have it tied up, but we'll go sit here and go dive in and talk about what the Chrissy Field Beach has to offer. So let's go, let's go. Today I'm on the other side of the Golden Gate Bridge. Yesterday I was on the western side of the Golden Gate Bridge. And if you guys live in the Bay Area, San Francisco, you know there was a lot of drama going on there today with protesters blocking traffic. But that's not what this channel's about. That's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about the Chrissy Field East Beach. This view right here, again, it's to die for view. You got Alcatraz in the distance right there. A bunch of kids playing. You got some wind surfers, as you can see. And like I said yesterday, the iconic view of the Golden Gate Bridge. The sun is nice and warm today, a little breezy, which is not that bad during the local, normal San Francisco weather. And as I pan to this little signage right here, it does say volunteers needed East Beach volunteer program this is the east beach and again just not that far from where i'm standing it's considered the south beach but check out that view that is one cool view i like it again i'm not really big on sand but i went there yesterday or in the baker beach vlogs i'm gonna go there today i'm gonna walk towards the sand i'm gonna have the camera in front of me kind of test what this gimbal is about sand is a little coarse it's a little on the soft side because again the rain just happened a couple days ago and not today but this water is a lot calmer than the baker beach water that i was in but you can still kind of sort of hear the sounds of the waves check this out like i said you can hear the waves just a little bit it's not crashing as much as it was at baker beach because now we're actually inside the bay. Yesterday we were just outside the mouth of the bay. And somebody said, what's considered the mouth of the bay? This right here is the bay. When you go past the Golden Gate Bridge, that's considered the mouth of the bay, right over there. But you can still see the waves, like I said, is not as high as it was at Baker Beach. And it's not as rough as it was in Baker Beach because we are only in the bay. We're not in the ocean, open ocean, which is right over there. But check out that remarkable view right there. I like it. You get the windsurfer dragging his windsurfer. I guess that's what it's called, windboard, whatever. He's dragging it because the wind has changed. He was over here earlier. Got to keep an eye on the, the waves, make sure I'm not nowhere near there. 
But he was over here earlier. And now he's making his way over there. And let's see if he actually gets back on. Again, for windsurfing, you gotta catch the wind. And you gotta catch the wind the, the right way. There's a guy all the way out there. He's catching some good wind. This guy. All right, he finally made it out. That's kind of cool. That's something you'll never catch me doing. Not, I don't want to say not in a million years, but not in this lifespan. So there's a guy over there. He's walking on the water right now. He has one of those jet proportions uh, windsurfers. Again, I got to keep an eye on these waves because it is getting to that point where the waves are getting a little closer to me. And you can see right over here where the water line is. It's over there now. But it can make it all the way over here and from what the way this sand looks right in front of me right here you can't do it because it's face tracking me but it looks like it can get to where i'm at right now but this is cool here comes the windsurfer again he's making his way in and he's done he's done another guy all the way out there and the view of the bay bridge golden gate bridge I stand corrected. Did I just say Bay Bridge? I sure did. The Golden Gate Bridge. Again, if you live in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, you know there was some really bad traffic congest congestions in both bridges today. You have some protesters out there who are trying to, you know, speak their cause. Was wind surfer just jump back on? I don't know why he keeps heading back this way. I don't know if the wind is blowing him this way or if he's just not finding the right wind. Oh, he's gonna try to turn right there. And, nope, there's another wind surfer over there. That one looks like a kite surfer. So yeah, that one over there is a kite surfer from a distance. This guy's a wind surfer right over here. That guy right there is a kite surfer. I'm just try to zoom in, see him. He's a kite surfer over there, but this is cool not so busy this is where everybody comes for the blue angel so fleet week when it's here in october august october that area this is where everybody is this whole beach right here is filled with people that parking lot that i went to is packed to the brim because everybody's here and they're watching the view of the Blue Angels. Look at this view right here. It's all you see. And then that one view, I think I came here one year. I did, I came here one year and the boys were young and all they wanted to do was play in the sand. This is a cool hobby. I mean, this is something I probably would try to do maybe once. So you want to catch me doing this in a million years. Maybe once I try it, but I can't go all the way out there in the bay only because of you know how deep it gets over there this wind surfer that's coming right now he's making his way in i just noticed he has a one of those jet proportion things on the bottom of his see how he just turned his up and it has that little high jet thing over there which is cool and i think those guys that are packing up or getting ready to go in the water also has that going on for them. Um, this guy is still trying to find his way. He's gonna make it halfway out and then he's gonna end up back over here. I mean, either he's just learning, he's just figuring it out, but big, good job for him doing that. I would not be anywhere near over there. I, I just wouldn't. Again, it's not easy to do. It's not something you can do. Again, this guy's just coming in. You can see that big fin off of his windsurfer. And again, there's a couple more people over there that's getting their boards ready. So that's kind of cool. That's a cool hobby. You got the kite surfer just coming in right now. Looks like he's done doing what he's doing. The waves are kind of slowly getting a little rougher. And our, our friend He's made it out. He's made it out far. That's kind of cool. From this view where I'm standing, 
if you look at the Golden Gate Bridge, you can see Salsalito from where I'm at, Tiburon from where I'm at, Green Bray you can see from where I'm at. And then you can see Angel Island, like I said. You can see, that's probably Richmond over there in the distance. You can see Alcatraz. That is El Cerrito area. You can see Berkeley up at the distance over there. You can see a lot of cool things here just standing where I'm at. And again, it's Chrissy Fields East Beach, which is pretty cool. Earlier when I got here, there was like four people braving the water. You probably can see that in the clip, the earlier clip. They were sitting in the water swimming and I think they're still there drying off or either they went back to their car but that's again something you probably wouldn't catch me doing this water is cold not that far from here is aquatic park and you see everybody in aquatic park and they're always there sitting there swimming back and forth this water is even colder again the mouth of the Golden Gate Bridge right over there the Pacific Ocean coming in here into the bay and it's just crazy but it's cool it's a cool thing to do and again our friend over there he's finding his way in and then we got another guy who's jumping in right now this is cool i didn't expect this today i didn't expect this to be the launching part or the launching area for wind surfers and kite surfers this is cool that bottom end of the golden gate bridge where you see that archway that's fort point that's where i was it's just a silhouette of the brick building but I was in there not that long ago and there was a nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge but here you got a nice view of the bay our friend in the yellow who just jumped in oh he's a I guess those are considered kite I don't know if they're considered kite surfers but he doesn't have the stem like this guy has over here but he has something that he's holding on to these guys right here are kite surfers see that that's cool oh wow that's cool so he's getting all his stuff ready kind of want to see him launch in just to see how he does it that guy right there he's holding he's holding something else this is as far as zoom as i can get as close as i can get but he's already out to where he's supposed to be but I don't know how you turn that this kite surfer right here he has his stuff up that's cool I want to watch him up oh, he's grabbing his kite he's grabbing his his surf thing his board the kite is up let's see how it gets in that takes a lot of strength that's some wind right there that he that he's trying to hold on to dear life for. He's in the water. Let's get a little zoom in over there. He's in the water, the kite is up. He's being pushed out. See, this is you you this is one of those things where you have to know what you're doing. You got to know how to turn, you know, left or right for you I'm watching him to see if he gets on the board. Oh, the kite is up. Oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Wow. He is going fast. That's cool. That's fine. Look how far he's gotten further than everybody else. This poor guy in the red is still here. But him with his kite, he is gone. That guy's halfway to Sausalito right now. I'm not lying. He's halfway over there. Um, that is some cool stuff. There's another guy right behind me right here. He's getting his kite ready. It's a nice orange kite. He's getting his stuff ready. But that guy who came with the lime green, he's out there. It looks like his kite just fell back in the bay. But when he got on and he took off and he was riding above water, that is something I wouldn't mind doing. If we were in a lake, I'm okay in the lake. When I went jet skiing and we were in the lake, I was okay in the lake. 
being that there's sharks here I don't know if that's something I want to do just because but this has been cool this is fun Chrissy Fields Chrissy Fields East is where I'm at again over there just in the distance is Chrissy Fields South Beach it's called South Beach you got the Presidio right behind me over here and then you can see above the um, above the uh, Palace of Fine Arts right up there uh, I was not that long ago I like to go over there to the yacht area hang out relax looks like our friend in the distance has his kite back up in the air but this is cool this is again something unexpected something I just came here to talk about the beach distance from the water to the parking lot being the closest because again somebody on YouTube said Eric I need to correct you on something because in the vlog yesterday or the the uh, Baker Beach vlog I said from the parking lot to the beach it's the closest distance and he said no there's one a little bit closer and he said the Chrissy Field Beach both south and east so I stand corrected you were right this is closer all right one last look no waves today sounds of the waves are nice it's just you know like little baby waves you got a brave swimmer right there with the orange buoy brave swimmer brave in the ocean brave in the bay you got our kite surfer kite surfing away you can see him in the distance you got our wind surfer still trying to find his way out I'm probably learning you know I don't know I don't know who, who are amateurs or pros you got the orange kite right here getting ready to hop in the water and in the distance coming along you see a nice some kind of boat I'm not sure what kind of the boat is but see the water still tranquil still nice and quiet I still like it is this a fishing boat coming in here not sure what kind of boat it is but he has to be careful the wind surfers have to get away kite surfer again halfway to South Salido so he's fine probably a fishing boat from over there but again this has been cool and again you can never get tired of that view even though today was a little crazy over there but it is what it is I did say this was the final one but our friend with the orange kite he's making his way in right now he grabbed his board he has his GoPro locked on he grab up oh, he's flying his way in he's making sure his kite doesn't fall in the water just trying to keep it up the dog was like getting ready to attack him like these people with the with the dog decided to throw the ball towards him here he goes he's gonna go as far as he can like he did that other guy did and the other guy again he's way in the distance over there but just watch how he takes off watch how he just jumps in here he goes he's latching on to his board oh there he goes uh, keep the keep the kite up keep the kite up Oh, look how high he is that is cool right there how he's gonna maneuver that how he's gonna turn it I guess it really depends on the wind and then we got our one lonely swimmer swimming away right there this is cool I definitely got to come back here this is cool all right guys that's gonna do it for today's vlog a nice Nice adventure here at Chrissy Fields. Always pass by here, always come around here. I went to the Tunnel Tops Park right up there. I went to Fort Point, which is not that far from here. Um, went to the Walt Disney Museum, and then in the distance, I can see the Golden Gate National Cemetery, or the San Francisco National Cemetery. Sorry, I kept saying Golden Gate last time. It's the San Francisco National Cemetery, and I can see that from a distance over here. Unexpected to see the wind surfers the kite surfers out so to me that's a big thrill I was able to 
watch them launch, watch them leave, watch them go home. That's a big plus for me. Then you got a swimmer, one lonely swimmer who is brave enough to brave the San Francisco Bay. Thumbs up for him, man. Just for him getting in there alone. That's a cool thumbs up. But this has been fun. This has been cool. Someone said, get out here, check out this beach. Again, the, the, the vlog today was supposed to be the distance between the water to the parking lot. And I'm standing by the water. You can see the parking lot back there. Yesterday's vlog, I was standing at Baker Beach and I walked pretty much all the way down. And I'm pretty much all the way down right now. You can see the water right there. But this is a shorter distance. Chrissy Fields East and then the Chrissy Fields South, South Beach over there. East Beach right here, South Beach over there. I guess that's just the way for them to figure out which beach is what. But this has been fun. I can come back here. I can watch more of the surfers. I can watch more of the, the wind surfers. This has been cool. I like it. You also got some kite flyers in the distance. So I know what day like today where it's kind of breezy, kind of windy. My hair is all over the place. Sorry. One of you guys reached out to me the other day and said, hey, can you tie your hair or do something to your hair? I thought it was going to be easy today, but you know, it's, it is what it is. You guys can see it. So thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. This is one of those vlogs where I had something in mind. I was going to talk about the history, but I ended up watching these guys and these guys are a lot more funner than what I had to talk about but that's cool again thumbs up like comment and subscribe leave me comments down below here from Chrissy Field East Beach you got to get that right East Beach thanks for watching guys vlogs ended go in peace Our orange kite surfer is over there in the distance. Our lime green kite surfer is over there in Sausalito. We have another brave swimmer braving the waters. No way, man. No way. Check out that view one final time. Well, I make my way back to the parking lot. No one said walking on sand would be easy. I'm still walking. Again, this is the coarse, loose sand that I have today. Not the easy, wet sand. And me wiggling my toes, I can feel sand in my shoes. But you know what? It was worth it for that view. Definitely worth it. I was right. Crazy Field East Beach. And caution, there's no lifeguard on duty. I didn't realize I walked that far on the beach that I got to walk all the way back to the car. And I'm still in the loner car and I forgot the color car that I'm using. I don't know where it is. It's here somewhere. this.